Hey, this is Tyler of 4K Equipment, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stake out points, lines, and surfaces on Trimble Sightworks. So we're going to be staking out this topo shot that we shot in in our last video here. And we're going to hit the menu in the top left. Hit stake. Hit the menu in the top right here. Then as you can see, we can select a specific point. Then we also have the lines and surfaces we can accept. And we can just actually tap on our point and it's going to say select. We're going to do storm two, then hit accept. So basically what it's doing now, it's telling us how far we need to go to this point. So we're just going to slowly walk towards it. And basically when you're staking these points out, you want to make sure that you get as accurate as possible, which you want to get those numbers to zero as possible. Then mark it at the tip of the tip of the rod. Then say you wanted to stake out a control point here. Here's this triangle. We're going to hit the menu in the top left, hit stake, and we can actually just tap on this triangle here. Hit accept. And now it's going to tell us we need to walk over to our control point. So we're going to start making our way over. Then as you get closer, you'll see that the this little, the little bubble up there pops up and it tells you how uh, far you need to go in to get accurate. So just make sure that you get as accurate as possible. It's pretty easy for on a control point just because it's already a measured point and it has a little divot in it. So it's going to be accurate pretty much in there. So, um, if you hit, if you want to stake out line, hit the menu in the top left, hit stake. Then now you can select the line and hit accept. Also before that, if you hit the menu in the top right, go to line, you can actually select what line you want to, uh, stake out, but we're just going to hit accept here. We're going to be doing the building pad. Hit accept again. So now it's going to tell us how far we need to go inward to get zeroed out on this line. So in the very top right, you'll be able to see where it says inward. So we're just going to kind of make our way over here. Try to get it as close as we can get it. And also when you are getting this close in, depending on if you have tilt or not, if you do have tilt, then you can, your rod doesn't have to be level, perfectly level for you to be able to get directly on that point. You're just, your tip needs to be on that line for it to be perfect. But if you do not have tilt, then you have to make sure your rod is perfectly level. So if you wanted to change the line, let's say you could hit the menu in the top left, hit stake, select a different line, then just hit accept. I'm not going to be doing that. But yeah, just make sure you get close as you can when you are measuring the lines here. Just say it again, you can see where it says inward. You just want to make sure that you get that to zero when you do end up marking it. If you want to put an offset on this line, you can see a little gearbox with the line under it. If you tap on that there, then it'll say horizontal and vertical offset and right and above. So horizontal, we're going to do a foot and we're going to do right. You can do left. Then the vertical you can do above or below, but we're not going to be doing that. And we can hit it. Then we can uh, hit accept here. So as you can see now, the red there's the red line, but now that other red line's a foot off of it. So we can go walk over to the red line and just get as close as we can. And this is just for example. So. Uh, I'm not going to get insanely perfect on this, but you should be able to, or you should if you're out on the job doing this. So 
so yeah, then you can basically walk around your walk around your pad and shoot shoot out this line and get it marked in. If you want to stake out a surface, we want to hit the menu in the top left, hit stake, hit the menu in the top right here. Now we just want to select our surface that we're going to be staking out and hit accept, hit accept. So as you can see, as we're walking on site, it's telling us a accurate cut. Then it's going to tell us a fill here. So basically any location you go, it's going to tell you an exact cut or fill of where you're at. And if this is like final grade or subgrade or whatever, then you can actually add an offset to here. So we can hit the menu in the top left, go down to settings, hit surface settings. Then we can change the surface offset here. So you can do, we're just going to do a foot here. Then also, if you want to do a surface offset type, you can do, I usually leave that at vertical, but you can hit accept. And then now it's going to tell us our fill. It's going to say fill a foot because that's that's what we put there. And you can also do when you go back on those settings, it also says above and below. So you can do above a foot or below a foot, but you always want to change it back to zero when you're done putting the offset on it. So at the menu in the top left, hit settings, go to surface settings. Then we're going to change that back to zero. Then it, as you can see, it says offset direction zero hit accept and we're just back to our normal cut and fill here so yeah that's how you stake out points lines and control points and surfaces on trumbull siteworks thanks for watching